Shalom everyone, I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a daily reading. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are brand new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. Thanks for joining. My channel can be very intense, so you will at times hear information that might be disturbing to you. Um, but it could also be information that could help you and bring knowledge to what could be around you or save you from going down a path that you shouldn't go down at times. We look at criminal activity here on this channel most of the time. I am connecting with Yehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. And uh, people call him the universe, but uh, I call him by a scriptural name. And the uh, scripture is found in the tarot, which still lives today. So it is honored here. Sometimes it comes out real strong, sometimes not. Just whatever Yehovah wants to bring out, Yehovah will say what needs to be addressed. His eyes go to and fro in the earth, and um, nothing phases him. So everything hidden in the darkness shall come to the light, is what he says. And we're in a judgment time in history, in prophecy, and so it's being fulfilled in a very big way. And so anyway, this is kind of who I am on my channel. Um, I'm not ashamed of Yeshua, the Hamashiach, Yehovah's Son that walked among us in the flesh. And Yehovah is Yeshua, and He is he is everything, and there is no salvation outside of Ye Yehovah. Um, but He did send His only begotten Son, and uh, bled and died for us, and I'm not ashamed of Him. So, anyway, but I'm not church, you're religious. I'm for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I hope everybody had a restful Shabbat. And all of that. So, starting the week out. Today is a holiday. Fourth of July. So, hopefully everybody's travels have been safe and you're enjoying your holiday. Let's get started. Jehovah, what do you want to bring out here? Jehovah, rebuke and bind and block every foul, wicked, dark energy right here, right now. And shove it on down to the pit of hell. What's the message today? Well, that page has come out for the last three days over and over and over. And so, communication is still here, being suggested. Maybe children, teenagers, there's an investigation as well. Uh, the Hierophant is also here. Society, marriages, spiritual mentors, teachers, um hospitals, communication about medical issues could be here as well. We have the another page coming out here. Page of uh, wands, new, new relationships. If there was anything mischievous around some ordeal, that's a lover card as well. Um, we also have the three of pentacles collaboration about something and the seven of pentacles and somebody's been waiting on something here um, this says seeds that have been well planted and there's just been a temporary pause within something and there's unnecessary worry within an ordeal that's going on we got a lot of money energy that would be out here just go back to bank systems and then ten pentacles is large sums of money somebody needs to speak about uh, financial issues, things that have happened around mischievous things, even for some of you. Um, I guess that's what's here. We also have the letter H here. We have the Eight of Pentacles as well. So, wow, that's a, that's a lot of pentacles then. Eighteen pentacles, nine pentacles is also inheritances. Um, could be, you know, a breakdown to that. Um, Somebody's also been segregated and we already know it. So let's go ahead and just take some words here today. <clears throat> um, somebody needs to have some type of communication and uh, apparently it's truthful and it says, I love you for who you are. And so somebody has been, you know, again, if that breaks down to the nine of pentacles, which can go to loneliness and segregation and things like that, somebody has been made to not love somebody for who they are, but somebody does. Somebody says, I wish that I would have just spoken to you when you walked by me. Somebody walked by somebody and was stuck up, I guess they were. Uh, somebody was cut away or something about 
dividing something, you know, somebody divided money within some mischievous ordeal, um, then I guess that's what's happened. If there's an um, investigation around it, then there is. Something was removed, again, cut away. Somebody was um, segregated. And somebody was selfish. Well, obviously, if somebody's going to divide the spoil with the proud. I mean, this is I have something, the second house. Okay, well, we do. Somebody has a lot of somebody's money and segregated and cut somebody away for that. Well, uh, you deal with somebody also who has extinguished the Holy Spirit. Well, we have spiritual mentors and teachers and stuff like that, and, and that's, that's just dangerous. It's dangerous. Somebody's done a real nasty thing. And they're seared, I guess. Um, somebody played really mischievous around some physical ordeal. They put out the Holy Spirit, my God. Uh, this also goes back to some type of just flame. So if you're dealing with some type of issue around money and maybe even fraud issues, um, where a fire is because it's been coming out, then that's here. But we're also told to um, extinguish every fiery dart of the enemy as well and so some people do some people don't I guess um, someone needs to give in the situation obviously there's a tug of war or something something medical is here in some ordeal something about out of state perfect love cast out fear somebody got fear in them I'm supposed to fear you a whole lot a brutish man knows not, neither does a fool understand this, that when the wicked spring up as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they be destroyed forever. For lo, thine enemies, Jehovah, uh, shall, the, are workers of iniquity, and they shall be scattered and perish. Yes. We are dealing. I mean, obviously, we've got somebody out here who has blessed me with the Holy Spirit. They don't care. They're sitting here. Somebody needs to give in some type of situation, which means there's some type of a, a push and pull because somebody's greedy out here. Uh, and somebody also wants forgiveness. Well, you got you got to get up and go to the person and speak. Somebody's out here saying, I'm not ashamed of you, and I wish I just would have talked to you when you walked by me. And so, if you if you were a stuck-up being to somebody because you thought you were my God, I don't have to talk to you because something's whatever, it's time for you to, to, to get out of your prideful state and do something about it. The judgment card is here. This is about bringing something up, coming back around, putting a judgment on something. Um, somebody been trying to hold something down here. This is the head, the man, the boss, the chief. Somebody at the top of something is here. Somebody needs to blow a trumpet uh, on an authority figure even. Then, by God, you need to do it. Especially if somebody has something that's not there. Somebody has blessed me the Holy Spirit, people. They are of no worth. They just are of no worth. Especially if they're getting up here saying, Hallelujah. And they're in some type of church organization. I don't think so. That is not right. And they're leading other people down a, a nasty path. And somebody's brutish out here. Um, obviously, we've got medical issues out here. So whatever this is, there's some type of a judgment on some order. Again, somebody stingy. Somebody greedy. Okay? You're a fool. Jehovah called you a fool. And you're brutish. And you are of no worth in the earth. The truth. Well, the truth hurts, doesn't it? We already know about somebody was cut away and did some stupidness. So the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is something that's very much emotional on some people, I guess. But somebody going to come with the truth? There's a baby here for some of you all as well. Um, the truth sets you free because Jehovah stated so the other day. Something about, you know, the 4th of July. Today's the 4th and um, it's fire. And we have extinguishing things out here as well. So please be careful if you are doing any kind of fireworks today. This is a celebration. So if you want to get up and say something to somebody and make a thing right, then there's, there's something positive out here. As emotional as it may be, somebody needs to get up and do something. So you'll have to bring it out here that the, um, that the wicked and the brutish person being sprung up as grass shall... Um, 
shall be cut away and stuff like that. And he brings out the sword. We have the letter R here. We have the letter R here coming out. Okay. So we have two R's and an H out here. So that might mean something somebody. Not sure. This is the Raito or the radio. And if you're new, I also take phonics because it sounds like that. So some, something, you know, is known or heard or we already know about the music and projects that people have, have been looted on. And uh, that ain't okay. This goes back to taking a ride. Okay. This is about... Um, movement and travel and help and cooperation there's been regression here and separation uh, is going to occur for those who uh, have blamed errors also on others within some ordeal that has went down because something brutish has come out of it so anyway um, this is what come out for, for today Shalom